I try to love myself at every stage of life that I'm currently at, but it wasn't too long ago I was at a stage where I just didn't recognize myself. And I'm talking about the physical, mental, and emotional aspect. Life is always facing you with some sort of test or obstacle to see how strong you are and how quick you can resolve it and how high in your spirit you can be. So without knowing you directly, I already know that we're very much alike because we all have something that we're battling or trying to overcome. Sometimes in life, I think we judge people based on where they are currently. So I want to take you guys back 106 days ago where this journey began. Hopefully I go hard and use this as motivation to reach my goal. I think I will get there. Actually, I know I'm going to get there. I'm up for the challenge. I want to show this in real time. Today is December 15th. This is how much I currently weigh. 173 pounds. All right, so this is a full view. What I want to get rid of is more of this. I have like some rolls here. I'd like to tone my stomach up and get rid of this or swim it down. I didn't used to have this at all, so work on this. It's not too shabby. This year, 2023, has been a rough year for me. My daddy passed away in March. I moved to Texas like a month after. I kind of went through a state of depression. At first, I lost a whole bunch of weight after my daddy passed away. Once I kind of came to terms with the fact that he wasn't going to be here anymore, it's still hard for me to say. Um, that's rough. After I came to terms with, you know, that I said to myself, well, you know, I'm gonna try to go back to my normal life. Well, what I started doing was eating. I love food, y'all. I absolutely love food. Um, uh, the water works. <laughs> I'm trying to be strong. I started eating a whole lot. That was my comfort. I find comfort in food. And I was still just like grieving and mourning. I would say that was the best way, but that's what I did. And there's no right or wrong way to grieve. <laughs> I did what made me feel good. It was hard. I started seeing the weight on the scale going up and I tried to, you know, combat it. I was still working out, but y'all, your girl was not eating right. I was eating a lot more processed fried foods and sticking to me. <laughs> I was around like 160 and I was trying to reach my goal of being 155. Now I just want to get back to my weight where I was like 163 because I put on about 10 pounds. Baby steps, I'm doing this a day at a time, little by little. This is going to be a process. <laughs> I wanted to be honest with myself and have a starting point so I can look back and see and show that with hard work and persistence, you know, you can do anything. All right, so I'm on a military base about to go get a bod pod done. And the purpose of this is to see where I'm at as far as body composition, how much fat I have, how much muscle, how much I weigh, get an accurate reading so I know where my starting point is so I can work to where I would like to be. So this is my composition results. Here it is telling me I am 25.5% body fat, which is not bad in my opinion, but that's not where I wanna be. I wanna be around 20%. That is my goal. And it says here that my fat mass is 43 pounds. What we can try to do here is turn this actual fat into muscle. Seeing the 25.5% body fat, that's telling us that that is 43.5% one eight pounds of fat now what we have as fat free mass is 126 pounds so this could be muscle which is great i'm actually down weight total weight is 169 pounds 0.27 one thing i like about the bod pod is it gives this table here it gives you a more accurate explanation of the things you need to know I am in the moderately lean category because I am 25.5% body fat. So as a female, that puts me in fat levels being generally acceptable for good health. But as you guys know, I want to make some improvements. 
is February 6th and I'm back for my bod pod. Y'all, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I feel like I'm going to see some progress today in my results. Hoping for the best. Yeah, I'm just optimistic. We'll, we'll see. My body fat percentage went up just a little bit and my fat weight went down just a little bit, but my fat free weight, which is what we consider the muscle, has went down as well. We want to try to get the fat free weight to be up, not down. All right, so what I noticed is I lost weight, which is great because I feel great. The only problem here that I'm seeing is I'm not getting enough protein, so I'm losing muscle mass which means I need to eat more meat or eat more things like chickpeas and lentils, things like that, or just do more protein shakes because I need the muscle in order to have the lean muscle mass and that comes from the protein. I've been juicing actually right now. I currently have some juice here and I've been eating a lot more vegetables and things of that sort. With that being said, I'm not really shocked. I'm losing a little bit of muscle mass, but I think I'll go ahead and make the change and the adjustments to do more protein shakes. Knowing for sure now that I am losing a tad bit more muscle mass than I would like. But on the scale, the scale is going down and I'm very happy about that. This is gonna be a journey and it's gonna be a process. So I'm gonna just keep doing what I've been doing and make a few tweaks and adjustments. But y'all, overall, I'm feeling really good. I feel way lighter and I feel like I'm slimmer. I know I'm slimmer because she told me that I am, she told me that my waist is 29 inches now and it was, last time I was here, 30. 0.5 inches feeling good feeling great not exactly the body fat percentage that i wanted but i'm going to keep pushing until i get to the levels that i want to achieve all right y'all today is march 18th and i just got back from san antonio it was the longest drive ever absolutely hate driving to san antonio for any reason, because the traffic is just ridiculous and people don't know how to drive. But anyway, <laughs> I have my new Bod Pod results, y'all. I was so shocked by these results. Feel me for a loop. I'm excited to share it because even though this might sound to some of y'all like things are not going how they should be going, things are going like way left, it's not. Let me explain why. I first wanna talk about weight because I think it is like something that everyone does whenever they're trying to get more fit. You look at the scale and you kind of use that as a gauge of are you doing something good? Are you doing something bad? Should you stop eating as much? Have you been not eating as clean? Whatever the case may be. I am here to tell you that these results are going to make you feel like I just fell off of the wagon more than likely. On February 6th, I weighed 164.94 pounds, right? Today, March 18th, I weigh 166 pounds, 0.92, so almost 167 pounds. This is the part that I think is gonna shock everybody. I'm actually down 3.5% body fat. I am also down 5.23 pounds of fat weight. So that's saying, as far as my body composition goes, I have lost 5.23 pounds of fat. Here's the next kicker. I am up 7.21 pounds of fat free weight, which means everything except fat, right? Which would be like saying I could have put on seven pounds of muscle. That's pretty much what I did, y'all. I put on seven pounds of muscle. Therefore, right now, I actually weigh more than I did during the last bod pod, but I actually have less body fat percentage than I did about a month ago, which is crazy, right? This is why I say you don't wanna to get too hung up over the scale because if I went off of the scale, which I kinda did last time, I wasn't eating as much protein. Y'all, when I try to tell you guys, it is so important, so, 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 so important if you are trying to build muscle mass that you need to increase your protein intake. The last time that I did my bod pod, 
I was eating a lot more veggies and I'm like struggling to eat the protein and stuff, right? It ended up making my weight go down, but my muscle weight went down also. I wasn't trying to lose muscle weight. My end goal is to lose body fat. I want to have less fat on my body. I don't really mind having muscle. Well, all of this other stuff is shrinking. Guess what else shrunk? My waist. I weigh more right now than I did last month and my waist is smaller. Let me just kind of show y'all what I'm looking like. This is me from the side. And I'm starting to get, starting to get little abs back, you know? I'm gonna um, show you guys right here. My love handles on the side, they're still kind of there, but not nearly as pronounced as they were. I still have a little something, but y'all, my waistline is shrinking. What have I learned from all of this? One, eat more protein. Two, strength training is good for you. It's not always just do cardio, cardio, cardio. Now the cardio is going to make, for me, the weight fall off on the scale, but it's not really getting rid of the body fat, which is what I'm trying to do. The way that I found for my body that has been working is to do more weight training even though it's within the limits of like what I can do because I have injuries and things that limit me from doing certain things. But I do what I can. Incorporating cardio into that works well for my body and it decreases my body fat percentage. Will I see the scale go up more? Maybe, but that's not necessarily a bad thing as long as it's reading to me that it is muscle weight that I'm gaining and not fat weight. You see what I'm saying? That's what this whole thing is. It's just kind of me trying to see what is working, what's not working. I was doing the bike for a little bit and then I have a knee injury, so I couldn't do the bike that much. So I had to switch and, you know, do something else. It's a lot of just figuring out what works for me and how do I really know what works? It's by getting my bod pod because if I step on the scale, the scale for me is deceiving. Just because my weight is going up does not mean that something is absolutely wrong and I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Sometimes I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing and I need to just kind of take my eye off of the scale. So this is why I recommend the bod pod because you're gonna get the most accurate depiction of what is really going on with your body. Let's see what happens next, y'all. I hope this was helpful to somebody. Let me know down in the comments, are any of you guys trying to like lose weight, gain weight? Are you on some sort of weight journey? I'm gonna call this a weight journey because I wouldn't even say this is a weight loss journey. This is more like a exploration. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. And until next time, bye-bye.